All right, so now that we have ordered our Workspace for Education Plus licenses, let's see how we can provision those licenses to either individual users or to whole OUs. So let's go into our admin console. Scroll down there, admin.google.com. Here we are in our admin console. Now, where we're going to look for our licensing is over here on the billing tab or on the left where it says billing. So let's jump into our billing on the left there. You can see we have subscriptions. So we can see what subscriptions we have available to us. I can see I have 10 purchased Chrome Education Upgrades. I have my Workspace for Education Fundamentals, the free version. I have a legacy version of Education Plus that I got, and I also have a teaching and learning upgrade for one of my staff. One of my teachers has teaching and learning upgrade to allow them to get all the extra stuff. Now, when you get your licenses provision via your reseller, they'll be sitting in here as their Google Workspace for Education Plus. Now, what I can do is click into that, and I can then come in here to my license settings. I can go manage my license settings, and we can see here we come to this screen. Now, I am at the top level of my OU, so showing settings for users in Steve Smith. If I want to just go to my student OU, I click into that. Again, I can go assign licenses. I can choose which of my students I wish to assign licenses to. Okay, let's go back to my all organizations there. So here are all my students just from the organizational units. So let's go back to our billing, which is jumping back one screen. So if I wanted to give those people access to my upgrade, I can just go assign licenses and choose the individuals. Now, if I want to do that automatically, I can go down here to Workspace for Education, which is a free version, but I want to go to um, the Workspace for Education Plus. You can see here we have automatic licensing. If I go across the pencil and click it, apply at the top level of my domain. So remember, I can do this for different OUs as well. I can switch this and switch it on and have automatic licensing across my domain, which means when someone new joins, they will pick up a license if we have enough sitting there. If someone leaves, it will be returned to that pool. So if I want to do this, Let's just click cancel. If I want to do that for my teachers, I'll click my teacher OU. I'll go across to here, automatic licensing. I can either click here and drop it down and go on. So I can choose the OUs that I want to have automatic licensing on for. What that will mean is that the licenses will be applied to everyone in that OU. So two ways to do it, assign licenses, which is for the individual, or automatic licensing, which is a lot easier. I'm just going to click those off and cancel. Remembering to choose the OU down the left-hand side there. If I want it for everyone, I'll put it at the top level OU. Assign licenses will allow me to go through my entire domain and pick people. But if I want to do it automatically, I can switch on automatic licensing. And that means that those licenses will be applied to everyone in that OU. So you will get your licenses from our distributor Synex that will connect via your reseller into your domain. The licenses will arrive in your domain and this is where you provision them. Remember that Workspace for Education Plus is a license that is added to a user. So there will be no downtime. You don't have to switch between different things. You don't have to switch off everything and start again. They're simply switching on new licensing for your users. If someone leaves, their license can be switched off. If someone new, it can be switched back on again. Okay, so that's how we assign licenses using the billing, then license setting. In our billing, we can see a number of different things about our domain. So I'll jump back to our billing. Over there, we've got subscriptions. If we look at subscriptions, I can click on our Chrome upgrade, the Chrome education upgrade. It shows us what sort of um, education upgrade I've got and it shows us whereabouts those are sitting on our domain. So if we go back to billing, let's jump back to our subscriptions page, back to our billing there which is the top level. We can add or upgrade a subscription, we can choose which of those subscriptions we want to have a look at.